Uh, tip number one that I would tell any bar owner to do is not to ring in on an open key register. Make sure that you have an open item, um, uh, not using an open key register where bartenders can just ring in $20, $50 for a sale, having itemized sales, whether it be just a simple cash register where you have a few keys that there's preset uh, buttons all the way up to a touchscreen computer system. Um, but either way, taking the, um, taking the, uh, sorry, <laughs> taking right. the, uh, Taking the power out of the bartender's hands, putting it in more control in your hands on how they're ringing things in and making, making the most of your revenue. So it's really about making the business black and white, removing the gray areas. The bar owner needs to set in place the, the, the procedures and the staff have to follow them. And you would advocate that the tighter you can get it, the more profitable the bar is going to be at the end of the day. Yes. You want to shrink those loopholes that the staff can jump through to run around your profits. You want to be as profitable as possible and that's the number one thing you'd want to do is make sure that it's getting rung in at the price that you set especially and with your specials too, happy hour, whatever, having that all set up so it's kind of idiot proofing it, you know, taking it out of their hands, putting it in your hands, the power's with you. What would be your next big tip for bar owners? The second thing is tracking your inventory. Your inventory on any business is, is as important as your cash. And a lot of uh, owners think, well, I just bought all this, this liquor, that's what I have but they don't count it, they don't track it. They track their cash, they count their cash every night. They'd never go without doing that. Your liquor is as important uh, as your uh, cash that's in the drawer and tracking that and taking it out of your staff's hands. Somebody, whether it be a manager or yourself, but having a checks and balances to make sure that, hey, that's getting done and okay, if something was missing, we know where it went and nobody's trying to, to hide it, so to speak. So we're here in Las Vegas at the moment, and you've seen the casinos every day, how controlling they are in the casinos about the chips. You know, the croupiers have to manage each individual chip so tightly, yet in a bar, it seems to be that that's not the case normally. Like, people think, well, there's drink everywhere, you won't miss a little bit here and there. It's much harder to control alcohol, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's, mu it's much harder because of the culture that has been put in place in the hospitality industry. Um, however, in the last, I'd say, five years, even the last three years, things have gotten tighter where costs are going up and owners aren't seeing their return on investment and they don't know why. And so those the tips that I talked about, those are the those are important as tracking the chips on the table. You know, they know exactly where that's money's going and they don't let a dollar go, you know, untra untraceable. What would you say to a bar owner who says that surely inventory control is only for the large chain bars? Well what I the number one thing I say is your money is no less green than another bar owner's money. Uh, whether it's a big bar or a small bar. Um, anyone that does a couple thousand dollars in sale, all the way up to a guy that's doing tens of thousands of dollars of sales, uh, it's important to track your inventory. It's just like cash, and you want the more you have, the more you can do other things with. Tell us about the range of clients that you have yourself and where, where you're operating out of. Well, I, I operate out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I have uh, roughly about 40 clients that I work with all from the corner bars where the mom and dads are you know, doing the bartending all the way up to places that are doing tens of thousands of dollars. Um, I've had guys come up to me and say, well, I don't do that much in sales. And I say, if you have losses, do you know what your losses are? Do you know where it went? And do you want to make more money? The bottom line is if you want to make more money, I can help you make more money. I'm going to give a shout out to um, a good friend of mine, uh, uh, Joe Sorge, who uh, uses your services and speaks very highly of you. Uh, I believe you operate in uh, a number of his uh, restaurants. Yeah, Joe has four places now, um, and one of his comments that he's made to me is he would never open up a, another establishment without using Bevinco. And uh, and Joe is one of our, our biggest uh, advocates of what I do. I work very closely with Joe. I'm probably on a speed dial, and when things go awry, you know we're right on top of it. It's again goes back to the cash you would never accept being short 20 40 60 dollars in your register why would you ex accept to be short one two three four ten fifteen bottles of liquor five five cases of beer you'd never accept that um, so we help put those controls in place great tips Greg thanks very much thanks thanks a lot